Engineer Jishegiri launches foundation, presents awards, scholarships to outstanding students. Warming and inspiring events that brought joy and hope to the people of Idori local government. Engineer Benson Ajishegiri's foundation, EBF, was officially launched, accompanied by the presentation of awards and scholarship to the best secondary school students and outstanding indigent university undergraduates who have shown exceptional promise in their academic pursuits. 
the event held on the 21st of September 2023 at Goshen Trust Hotel in Suites, Idori, marked a significant step towards fostering education, empowerment, and a brighter future for the undeserved youth in the community. <laughs> Thank you because giving and sowing is a spiritual principle. Thank you for giving them the grace to do this. In his speech, Engineer Dr. Benson Ajishegiri, the chairman of Engineer Benson Ajishegiri Foundation, EBEF, and author of the Public Service by Grace book, has called for teamwork to quicken the development of Idonri land. He noted that EBEF project was a dream he had nurtured since his secondary school days when he would be able to fund the educational program of less privileged ones in the society. <laughs> I thank all my great friends and all the associates that have put it upon themselves to provide the initial fund. That was what mentioned. It was why I was retiring that some friends and associates put themselves together, even without my knowledge. They gathered, I think, more close to 20 million men. My dream is to have a foundation that will sponsor education for less privileged people in my hometown. And they all embraced it instantly. And then they threw Mrs. Koya. They had to go through CAC, they had to register, they did everything. They were only asking for my signature at the appropriate time. So the foundation that we have today is the hard work that my friends and associates have done which is a fulfillment of my dream in 1977 to go alone with the glory. I cannot forget also to mention some special people who have made some financial contributions before today. Because uh, I'm not the type that knows how to beg for, to ask for money. But by the grace of God, I put things together and I was sending text messages. I think many of us received such from here. And many contributed, made contribution. And I said, look, if you make contribution and we announce it publicly here today, I think many of us are ready to have seen it. So please, let me talk a little bit. My autobiography that was launched today is just to share a part of my life and work experiences which has come by the grace of God. That's what I call it, public service by grace. It will go through it. I went through so many hurdles, but it's just like someone that cannot be killed. You know? And I made it to the top. Nobody could kill me. Nobody could be me. Nobody could be tell me. You know? And God Almighty saw me through. Reading through it, excited by the young ones and the upcoming ones, we give a lot of inspiration. They will know that you don't need to know people before you can make it. 
I have never passed through any man to make what God has done for me in life. I've never. Nobody, I cannot say anybody anywhere is responsible for what I am. Even when I have the connection, I don't use it because I believe it is God that can make things happen. It works for me and I believe it can work for everyone. So I pray that that same grace will make all of us to attain the highest height in the name of Jesus Christ. Also, the mark scenes of progress to the land and will share its location by Honorable Mayoko is just a compendium of the modest efforts that I have made. And it's a call, a clearer call to all of us that wherever we find ourselves, please let us not forget ourselves there. Let's think about our community because it is the way we make our community that we will meet it. I urge all of us, please, if not that I was thinking about our community, I wouldn't, nothing would have been done. A lot of things were have been done, and then I don't say much, if there is on the part of this. And I discussed with the minister, with everybody that was in charge of the National Assembly, and they said, why not? If you are doing for others, why can't you do for yourself? And then we started doing for ourselves, and then I benefited, you know, from it. We give glory to God. We must join hands to, to always embrace ourselves. Let's put politics aside once the election is over, you know, and ask and then by the spirit of sportsmanship to us to continue to live peacefully together and for the development of the Gary land. We have no other place. The more we are united, the better we will develop. The most peaceful we live together. Please, I urge all of us politicians and our brothers that are not here that we can advise, let us always embrace ourselves after election and ensure that we work together. In our community, what I call the culture, the culture of individualism. The culture of individualism. I think this culture does not allow for good development. In all my exposure, in my movements, now that I have seen all around the world, I was privileged when I was in the civil service, and yet I traveled to more than 30 countries while in the federal civil service. And I have seen that there's no way that culture thrives. It is teamwork that works. We must always work together. You know, we need to know somebody. For example, if you say today now, today, that it that should bring out somebody who will be made a governor, it will be very difficult for us. It will be very difficult for us. So we must come together, work together, promote ourselves. It is only in that I see somebody who become local government chairman and his career will end there. He cannot even make it to Senate or make it to Wiki was a local government chairman. From local government chairman to House of Assembly, House of Assembly to the governor, governor now to minister. And they are promoting him. But here we kill our own stars. I pray that this spirit and this culture in us should die in the name of Jesus Christ. We need to promote ourselves. We need to find out, check who had the spirit to develop this community, who have the spirit to develop people, and we promote such people. And by the go by God's grace, it will be better in the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, let me assure you. On behalf of the ever trustees, that ever will continue to work stronger and stronger from year to year. In the name of Jesus Christ, we will be making our annual awards, and we will be continue to refine the way we are doing things. We are going to be launching a number of studies to be able to refine what we are doing to make it to be real, just like some of the ministers uh, principal said this afternoon. And I pray that we will be going from height to height in the name of Jesus Christ. So once again, let me thank all of you. Let me thank all of you that have made it here today. And pray that God Almighty will honor all of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so very much. This is Tanwa Koya. 
Member Ibaf Board of Trustees in a welcome address said, the foundation which is a non-government organization represents a collective commitment to make education accessible and equitable for all, regardless of economic barriers. She notes that the visionary initiative was born out of the desire to ensure that the brilliant minds in the society are not hindered by financial constraints, but are instead nurtured to reach their full potential. This foundation is a family foundation, it's a non-profit foundation, and it's a non-political, non-governmental foundation for a very specific reason. It's because this foundation was built on the singular vision of a person that has a passion for what we are here gathered to do today. Um, I would like to bring to the um, recollection of a few of us who were privileged to have been at the um, 60th uh, birthday and uh, retirement party for Yina Benson in Abuja. I think if you were there, you would recognize that this very illustrious son of Idori is recognized not only in Idori, but in Abuja and across the length and breadth of this country because of the impact he has had on several of the, country, of the states of this country. I met him almost 20 years ago as a young officer in the Lagos Straits uh, Water Corporation. And between then and now, he has been a mentor. He has been very impactful in the rise that I believe that uh, career-wise I have been able to achieve. And I don't stand alone. Even though EBAF is a family foundation, in EBAF there are a number of professionals whom he has single-handedly procured to be members of that foundation because of the experience that they bring to the foundation and the exposure they have in the area of education. It's a family foundation that would uh, have only family members there, but he said, no, I need people to ensure that this message of Idori is broadcast across the length and breadth of the country of Idori, of Nigeria, of Ondo State. And I want to take, I want to use the opportunity of this foundation to even bring to Idori international organizations that will support our vision. So what we do here today is only the birthing of a vision that goes way beyond Idori. Our hope is that as we go forward, that as a foundation I had prepared a speech to present uh, above to you, but uh, we're starting a little bit late and I know we have a lot to do. But permit me to say that our foundation here we are privileged as trustees to be members of this foundation. We have, even though it is idori-centric, but it is actually our hope that taking off from here, we will impact not only on those states, but even other children across the world. If you read some of the pamphlets that are inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning for us, for all, and this is where we, well, this is where our chairman feels that we should take off on the platform of Idori, educational pursuits for our children. EBAF has a vision of an Idori, where every child in Idori land of Ondo State will have access to inclusive and qualitative education and can dream to achieve the highest level of education with, due, with, due, with diligence and their own individual hard work. I mean, by the time we get to the book review, we would see how these core principles have actually shaped the life of our chairman and why it is a vision of his to have that also shape the life of every Dory child. The mission of EBAF is to contribute to the development and general welfare of the Dory community through improved, inclusive, and qualitative educational development. EBAF strives to achieve universal literacy and numeracy among the youth of the Dory land. He would be the one first to tell you that if anybody should not be here, it would be him. But because of the, 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 the impact of a number of people upon his life, he is here, and he is the one that wants to give back. So I, I would like not to go too far into your time this afternoon. Um, I believe that a few of the um, goals of EBAF will give us an idea of what we want to achieve. This is an inaugural inauguration of the foundation. Every year we go to evolve 
to see um, what new challenges are thrown in our way and design how and where we can address it. So in terms of the goal of EBAF, EBAF hopes to boost education at educational attainment and the eradication of illiteracy in Idori land. EBAF hopes to raise public awareness on the benefit of formal education. EBAF hopes to provide support to indigent students of Idori community to promote and increase access to inclusive and quality education for boys and girls. EBAF hopes to support science and mathematics for technology, engineering, and innovation. STEM I is a global concept, and it is his vision to bring that to Idori. EBAF hopes to promote life skills development, entrepreneurial spirit, and lifelong learning. And for this year, our activities in EBAF, starting with this inaugural launch of this foundation, is first of all the EBAF Science Award. This is to present financial awards to the best students in JS in the spirit of catch them young and then nurture these children through SS and then into university. EBAF Excellence Award where we would provide also um, indigent undergraduates with support. We know that a lot of children who are very smart, very brilliant, may have achieved great um, strides in their work, but may not be able to enter university, maybe because of that initial financial requirements to do so. It is our hope that in partnership with EBAF, EBAF partners as we go forward, we'll be able to provide the necessary support to such students. And like we said, this foundation is not only going to rely on what we can uh, gather from our partners in the Dori. We hope to take it statewide, we hope to take it countrywide, and even address international organizations who can give us support to, achieve, to actually carry excellent students of the Dori land and get them international sponsorship, even to universities abroad. We thank you so much for being here to start all this vision with, with us, and um, we look forward to a very fruitful and uh, eventful launch of this foundation. Thank you very much. One of the highlights of the foundation's launch event was the presentation of awards to remarkable secondary school students and indigent university undergraduates. These students have not only displayed academic excellence, but have also demonstrated resilience and determination as their achievements serve as a testament to their potentials that lies within Idori community. The lunch event also featured an inspiring lecture addressed by Professor Gwinga Oke Samuel, the Dean of the Faculty of Law at Dekunle Ajashi University, Akungba Akoko, in his lecture titled The Imperative of Supporting Children Education in a Donri Local Government Area, revealed that the government has failed in their duties of providing adequate funding for procurement of educational tools and infrastructure for quality education. He noted that parents and students also have their own roles to play with a view to achieving the desired quality education system in the society. Professor Oke's words resonated deeply with both the award recipients and the audience, reinforcing the idea that education is the key to breaking barriers and achieving greatness. The topic is the imperative of supporting children and young people's education as a pathway to shaping our future. Um, the paper actually delves into the critical importance of supporting children's education uh, with a particular focus on our kingdom here, the Dori Kingdom. The idea here is to encourage the improvement of child education support. And that is within the Dori, especially in relation to children that are lacking access to educational resources. I believe that is the context in which he wants me to speak. But again, another dimension came in when Abba Ushuri spoke. He talked about the need to encourage our parents, those that have the means, to focus on funding education of their children. And again, let me not go far before I come back to Abba Ushuri again. I recall while we were growing up in Idori, we didn't know what they call library. 
you know, Abashori acquired the place on top of Cooperative Bank and came in with tons, cartons of books. You know, some of the people who are few with them, we used to go there to explore the books. Some you don't even know what it was about, but just want to feel, you know, the smell, I want to call it, of books in those days. So, we appreciate you, sir. I hope those books are still intact. So, um, I don't want to go into defining what education is because it's all about, we all know what it's about. Acquiring skills, knowledge, and the understanding that you get from either school or from a training uh, institution. But fundamental to this is that education kills ignorance. It takes you away from ignorance and gives you enlightenment, exposes you, creates opportunities for you. And like I always tell my students in university, I always say, education is the greatest leveler. He does not know the son of a rich man or the son of a poor man. So the moment you get education, you are liberated. If you are the son of a rich man and you don't study very well, you will serve the son of the poor man. Otherwise, people like Ejidari Shegiri will not be where they are today. I may go to say that because most of us here rose through the grass. I want to call it, I mean, we did not have those unique opportunities. Attended village we schools. Are, we are bringing our society down when we don't invest in quality education. How do we train leaders? The same student union you know, boys are the ones that are going to politics today. They have become so difficult to manage by even political leaders. <laughs> so white. But I recall when I was running my PhD program in South Africa, it will belong to any Association on campus, either you are the administrative uh, association, law firm, black law forum, mandatorily you must attend a leadership training meeting every month. If you don't attend, maybe two meetings, they tell them to remove you from that place because they are preparing you for, the, for leadership. So that is the level of our education from primary up to tertiary level. We are having issues there. So anybody that is going to be investing in education must think infrastructure. And I'm challenging some of our elders here today. Now you should identify one area in one primary school, sir, or ma. Anything you can afford to do there, install it there. If it's not very borehole, you can do. Or well. Think well. So for them to flush their, their toilets. Some of these things are not too expensive. Or it's because of our value system. Again, we talk about teaching, teacher, the capacity of those that are teaching in Idori. You know, particularly in the rural schools, we don't have qualified teachers in most of those places. I've had time to interact with, to interact with uh, proprietors of the uh, private schools in Idori, and some of these issues we raised. The problem that people are facing. Sometimes it's school, sometimes and um, for me, this issue of don't speak English or speak English is neither here nor there. I'm having problem with some of with my children now because they cannot speak in any language. <laughs> Even Yoruba is a problem for them. When they talk, it's as if they are speaking in their Igbo or they are from other tribes. <laughs> so the until um, my of because I was discussing with uh, my friend there. Yeah. That uh, Chinese don't speak English. Everywhere. So the challenge is the quality of our education. It's how innovative our leaders are. In Shannon, it's a place for us to give children instruction in our local language. It's not a place. Let them struggle to speak English later, but let them have knowledge. Green knowledge. That's what they need. It's not about grammar. But again, that statement was not made out of context. It was just to explain the fact that the standard has really gone down. I got the message, but I'm just taking the issue of the language out of it. So there is poor management of assisting school in Dori. Then I said there is spread of wrong values, like Yahoo Yahoo. 
and undue pursuit of material things. That's the greatest challenge that we have in Indore. That's the greatest challenge. Our young people, the only thing they think about is money. <laughs> and this money, I always tell them, the lifespan is so short, and you are not going to have peace even with that. We must begin to teach our children, our children, our young men to embrace what we call delayed gratification. As a young man, I just come out of university. If you don't have a car to drive, it's not a problem. You understand? I always tell my student I did not know how to drive a car until I think about two years after I became a lawyer when I bought my first car. And I said it was fulfilling and exciting for me. I was looking forward to it as a stage in my life. So these are things we need to teach our children because otherwise we are going to have an implosion in Idori. And we're already having it. Because we are beginning to worship money. We don't care where these boys are bringing the money from. You know? You just place them in when you celebrate everybody. That's the wrong value we are spreading. So these are some of the things we need to our education must address. Because what I try to do is to discuss education in general in our community. Then again, empowered individuals. When we break the cycle of poverty, drive innovation and reduce inequality. These individuals will, in turn, strengthen their community, reduce crime rates, and contribute to the sustainable development of the Idori Kingdom. As we continue to prioritize education, child education in Idori, let us remember Mandela's wisdom. Education is not just a means to an end, but a transformative force that can reshape the destiny of individuals and communities alike. In embracing this vision, we embark on a journey towards a future where every child in Idori is equipped with the power to change their world and ours. We must go back to our old belief that community must be involved in funding education. Thank you. Honorable Mayoko Akim Moladrum, in his review of record of achievements of engineer Benson Ajishegiri, called a man and his community, X-rayed his achievements as a director of water supply and public-private partnership in the Federal Ministry of Water Resources until his retirement on the 24th of August 2021. I described him as a patriotic Idori indigene who sees Idori's development as priority. Look at, if you want to the page, you see where they said passion for Idori development. It was written by Ajibike Babalola comprehensively. And after a, a thorough work by him or whatever, we were able to come out to say that uh, we both ran the community of the Dori community. I mean, the, the, the length and breadth of the Dori. I now ask him, engineer, how managed are you able to cover the Dori like this with water? To all our villages, 450 villages, he bought it out. There's no village that we will not have his footprint inside it or whatever. So, I feel the photographer of Latino Reception, Mr. Pune, who is also going around now to take pictures or whatever, he was on a motorcycle. He also like the Abu of Naoko. So, he covered it and we brought it and we came to the studio. We analyzed and edited and put all those in. So, if you look at some of the pages, there you see over 60, about 61, about 61 put projects delivered by engineer person across in our community. For those of us that are living here, you will testify to this that hey, see Aduko, Kakiri Aduko, that you will not see water supplied by water, uh, Ministry of Water Resources in the community. The essence, the importance of this is that I don't go into the monetary aspect of it because water is expensive. You will know the huge amount of money he has delivered, he has spent, he has facilitated to Idori community. Having done this, we went ahead to see that how do people feel about him? Do our community even realize that he has done this? We sent.
to over 100 in the resource developers across the globe. And that people should talk about or, uh, engineer best that you're getting. Within two days, we received about 50 good week messages. Responding on behalf of the awardees, Mr. Oguma Kinju Thomas appreciated the donor for his kind gesture and prayed that God will continue to bless him. Then I give glory to God Almighty for his strength, wisdom, power. It's not by his might, it's by his strength. Then I now I would like to extend my heartfelt gesture to the chairman of the foundation, engineer and Dr. Bensi Adishigiri. There was a time when I was called, I watched some of this YouTube video about how to improve water. Actually, I'm also working on nanomaterials. So, I'm trying to like maybe we may be genius. I want to work on nanotech. Then we have nanotech. of materials and water. So, water is very, very important. Then, and the Bible says it's a good thing to give thanks. And it's more of blessing to give than to receive. I pray that God will bless you, sir. Earlier, High Chief Christopher Akindolire, the leader of Idori Kingdom, who was also the chairman of the occasion, was ably represented by his wife, Honorable Princess Adirunke Akindolire, lamented on the poor use of English as a means of communication by Idori youths. He urged Engineer Benson Ajishigiri's foundation, IBAF, to include English language as a priority in their activities as they express confidence in the foundation. In 1957, when Akindeko uh, told the Dori people, our fathers, only any Dori, a man called Mani, and you can see this all today. Although I was not privileged to attend the North Grammar School. The North Grammar School was established in 1957 uh, at the instance of the uh, High Chief Akin Deco. And uh, I was very young by that time. I was uh, searching for, uh, for entrance into secondary school. But of course, my father could not pay the, uh, the deposit. So I couldn't attend. And here I am today, I was able to stand before you because of uh, near uh, struggle to get education. And today, if you can see through the good messages, doctors, professors, uh, lawyers, and everybody here, and those people who have served in the different capacities in different government uh, offices, you can see that that one has yielded food. Now, uh, today, I can see from what uh, what was uh, written here uh, in our lecture, we are going to have the imperative of supporting children education in the local government area. And uh, this is also the, the, it's a very, very challenging uh, lecture. And uh, I believe that uh, taking this one home, but unfortunately, we are speaking English, we are going to talk to our parents. The people here, we don't need to be educated to know that we have to educate your children. Probably the children will not be around here. But please, when we get to our people who are less privileged, let us talk to them to actually send their children to school. Because my fear for Ibarri today is that Ibarri is becoming a haven for thoughts, political thoughts. When you see, if you want to recruit anybody as a company, you don't kill anybody, they don't kill anybody in a prayer so they are playing political in the company to recruit at once. See many of them are to look at and please, let us change this stance and make it a great place. Great event. Thank you very much. My name is Aleya Shirley Joy. I'm here to, but the name of my school is Lemo Bola High School. I'm here to thank Engineer Bensi Adi Shegiri for his launching and the award presentation 2023. May thank you, say thank you, sir. May God replenish your pocket in Jesus' name. My name is Aleya Bola High School. My school name is Francis High School. I thank you, 
Engineer Benz, Aji Shekiri, we thank you for gifts that you give us. And launching an award 2023 that you give us. We thank you, sir. We thank you. My school name is Methodist High School. I thank Mr. Virginia Banksy Adishogi for awards given to us. Thank you, sir. I'm really appreciated. Engineer Chief Banksy Adishogi, a fellow of the Nigerian Society of Engineers. We are in a diary at this time to inaugurate Engineer Adishogi Banksy Foundation which is a foundation that has been established in my name by the grace of God to support educational development in the local government. So today is the day that has been set to inaugurate that foundation and at the same time give award to some deserving secondary school students as well as some university undergraduates that have been relaxed but indigent. Uh, I am so happy that today my dream is being fulfilled uh, because from secondary school I know what it means for somebody to be brilliant or has no support, financial support to fulfill the dream of his or her life. So today God has made it possible through my land to be able to support some less privileged candidates in our local government. And at the same time, to promote education. Because education is the bedrock of the government of any man. So today, we will not only be inaugurating the foundation, but we will also be discussing my autobiography. Because uh, since I Retired from the Federal Civil Service in 2021, I have been put together some of the experiences, some of the journey I that went through the civil service. And by the grace of God, that book is ready. That book will also be launched at this occasion. And also during my civil service years, God enabled me to bring some development to it every time in terms of water supply. So no water is life. Without water, there's no how any life can be sustained. And when I was privileged to be director of water supply and public private partnership in the Federal Ministry of Water Resources, it would mean to bring some projects to the return so as to bring succor you know, to the water shortage problems that we have in the town. Um, I'm so glad that those projects came to be because. I passed through some hardship myself when I was growing up in this town uh, in terms of water supply. Because in those days, your mother would have to wake you up and say, yes, five years to go and fetch water from a brook. And the brook was of distance. Apart from that, I hate that during Hammer Town because the period that you have to sleep. And when your mother wakes you up around five years to go and look for water for the house, it was always very compromising and very excruciating. So I'm happy that at least through some of the projects that God enabled me to do, I was able to bring, bring some of these projects to the town. So we'll be showcasing some of these projects today to let people know how far, because the project is not only for the town, the project cut across the entire villages and towns of Inari in numbers. And all those things will be shared during the occasion of today. So it is my job that today has come to be and God has made us to come together to, you know, review all this situation. And then far more importantly, to be able to advise ourselves on the need for us to work together as indigenous of Iran, you know, to team up for the development of them and the people of Iran. Thank you. Thank you. I want to appreciate God for today, for the dream come true for my husband. It has been his wish to do this kind of thing. Which has come true today. To so him, he look beyond the glory forever and ever. Uh, my husband likes helping people, so also myself. And uh, we, we hate to see people suffering. And I love education too much. So I thank God for today. 
I give glory to God. Thank you. Thank you. Dignitaries at the events were High Chief Dr. Charles Akide Dioshore of Idori Kingdom, representing His Imperial Majesty Oba Dr. Frederick Adegunle Aroloye Arubie Fin, the 4th JPOFR Owa of Idori Kingdom, and Paramount Ruler of Idori Land, Ren Agbola, Vicar St. Paul's Anglican Church, Idori, Chief Dr. Kola Ademujimi, former Ondo State Chief of Staff, Chief Adaja Belo, Magistrate Bekele Akinyele, Engineer Bright Akinoliola, Deacon Akinshui, Mr. Tokwe Adesoji, Mr. Fioye Adegunleye, Dr. Isaac Akimoladu, Honorable Barista Dejo Adeloye, Mr. Felix Ajidagba, Chief Dele Akinagbe, Permanent Secretary, State Universal Basic Education Board, Elder and Professor Mrs. Adegboyegu, Professor Rokpo Akinfala, among others, Adelanke Akimoladu, reporting for Platinum Television. Thank <laughs> you.